Hello and welcome once again to my Minecraft. Um, in this episode, we're going to take a look at building a subway system. Uh, I've been playing a lot of Minecraft on 360 with my brother and sister. Um, and most survival maps go, people start to spread out. So we've tried to uh, look for a way to link us together with a subway. We live in a very mountainous region, so digging through the mountains was uh, the quickest option. So I'm going to take a look at what I've been up to. A uh, quick demonstration of how it works. First station departures. Climb into the car, push the button. Off we go down. It's the second time I've done that. Might have to change that design a little bit. Um, just come out, push the button to open the door, and the card disappears. Um, what's going on? Come over. Is once you get in the car and you push the button to go, um, powers the powered rail, disappear down, hits the detector switch, which launches the next car, drops it down into the system. Demonstrate this one. And I missed it. Typical. Um, when it gets down to the arrivals end, uh, it comes to a stop on the powered rail. Get out. Um, put a iron door with a push button, so you have to push the button to get out. When you push the button, it ignites the rail, which pushes the car down. Down the powered rail there, on the ground, pops it out and feeds it back into the loader. That's what's happening. Um, we've got quite a long distance to travel and uh, there's going to be a couple of mining stations on the way through the mountains. So I wanted a way to build stations and this is about as compact as I managed to get it. Although looking at it now, you probably can do away with this line and combine the two loaders together. Um, yeah, so I'll take it through the next side of station B. So this would be station B to station C. Um, demonstrate rail there. So, okay, so we push the button, that one disappears drops in, I'm oh, stood right away, but push the button and it goes back. Um, redstone for this one uh, runs straight from under the detector rail, round and through to a redstone torch there. I'll show you how to build it in a minute. Um, drops the, the car, runs it through, and the button triggers this array here and on the return side your button there does the same for that powered rail and it's all just powered so it is real simple um, as I was, I was only looking at something simple there's only a few of us playing on the 360 but um, we'll have a quick go at building the um, receiving end for station C and we'll see how we go. So um, I'm going to build the loading side. I mainly want a couple, so I'm going to do a few steps. And that's up now. And we're going to dig out these two. A moment to mark things out. We want powered rail through here and a trap door there. Okay. I'm going to take this one out. I'm going to put a couple of torches. You can see that's how they're switched. And uh, put a quick button in here, which is where our redstone is going to go to. You can see that it activates the trapdoor. 
that's what we want. Um, so build same this side. Two out, one up. And wouldn't you know it, it starts to rain. Let's get rid of that. Always, always rains. Um, and we want a section of powered rail down there. So let's run our powered rail up here. So this is going to take a lot of powered rail. Um, so if you are going to do it, I'd suggest doing it in creative unless you're going to really mine for your gold. Um, it's a little bit of time. So we're going to build now the push button to send us on our way. So but I'm using the wooden buttons because they're easier to see on the stone wall and a redstone torch. I'll take out that one and following my sand down here I'm going to put a second one here and some kind of redstone all this in to here you see light on light off and that will switch when we push the switch and it will power our rail. Ta da! Lovely. Okay, um, now we're going to set the um, trigger for the detector rail. So, as you can see, lined everything with sound ready. I'm going to put the detector rail in. Uh, digging too deep, I like to hide the redstone where I can. Makes it look neat, I think. Uh, yeah, that's fine. But okay, that gets us all nicely tied in there. So now the detector rail will trigger the drop. So that's us for this bit. Um, you will need a couple of powered rails and hiding the torches where I can. Just slot them in. Give us the kick we want. Tie these two together. Okay now that is everything for our outbound cart. We'll do the return cart now. So we're going to leave some space. That will do our push button for our door. And we're going to just replicate what we've done on that side, on this side, but for the door. Right, start off a torch. Probably our names for the configuration of torches that I'm using, but um, I don't know what they are, honestly. Double check it powers the route. Yep, lovely. Okay, um, now we're going to make the return section. Take that bit out. I'm going to dig down here because again we're going to bury this rail so you can't see it when you're using it. Build the bridge section for this one. Okay. Again, we're going to power our parts of it. And regular our others. 
I've not needed to use power rail up the knock because it is expensive to build. Okay, and again, we're going to want some power rail. Powered. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah, let's just get some daylight back. Okay. This bit. And that, my friends, is my two way station. Just uh, grab some, some mine carts and load up the other side. find it's easier I mean I find it's easier to put two on the track to start it means I don't need a reset button um, you can put one in just tie one into this layout um, give it a quick test push the button excellent push that one disappear Didn't think that was going to go there. And we'll test the other side of the bit we've made. Push the button down, around, and back to the loader. And that is it. It is very simple. It's a closed system, so hopefully it should stay well stocked. Um, obviously, if you're going to have lots of people coming in one direction and then the other, um, you may need to make an overflow or make the loader bigger to accommodate the extra cars. Um, again, I've not worked out all the bows, I've not really played with it much. Um, I just wanted to give you an idea of how it can be done. Um, I have built on an idea that was on YouTube. I can't remember whose idea it was. Um, they had a similar setup to this one, um, but you had to push the car off and down and around. So I have added the uh, auto return feature. Um, put my hands on and say this isn't an original idea. But if you are looking for a simple system, um, here's one. Uh, hope it works out well. I hope I've explained everything and shown you enough. Um, feel free to like and comment, and uh, I'll see you all next time. Happy mining. <laughs>